Welcome to Mishnah study Masakat Shaviit Perek Yod Mishnah He. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to speak about an early or late Perosbol, meaning a predated or a postdated Perosbol. So Perosbol Hamukdam Kasher Vameohar Pasul. So we'll explain. When someone writes the Perosbol, they have to sign a date at the bottom. Now let's say they write a date. So today's date, I'm recording this. It's June 13th. So hopefully you'll be listening on June 14th, right? So Let's say I go ahead now, I write June 13th on this Perosbol. That's perfect. Let's say I write an earlier date. Let's say I write June 10th, right? That would still be kasher. But let's say I wrote on the, on, on the, uh, on the uh, contract, I wrote June 20th. That's a problem. That would be pasu. Why? Why so? If I write it earlier, right? First of all, we know that a Perosbol only acts, could only validate, could only let you collect what was already lent out. So if I'm writing something that's predated, okay, so if I lent it out, you know, a, a month ago, that's fine, even if I predated to the, to the, you know, to the 10th, you know, and let's say, you know, if I lent something out yesterday on the 12th and I wrote it predated to the 10th, who am I really, you know, um, who, who's, who's really losing out? Me, myself, I would be losing out myself because I just, you know, predated something to earlier than the loan, right? So there's no, the only thing that could really come is I could really only make myself lose out. So therefore, if I write an early Perosbol, the early one is Kasher, right? As long as, right, all the loans were before that date. But let's say I wrote it with a later date. Let's say I put June 20th on there. Oh, that's a problem. Why? Because now... I put a date of 620, and if I lend something out tomorrow, if I, if I, you know, then it could technically be affected by that Piro's bowl. It looks like, you know, that that would be covered from the Piro's bowl, but we must write a Piro's bowl after the loan, right? So that could be a problem, and therefore, if it's post-dated, right, it would be pasul. So a predated Piro's bowl is, is, is allowed, it's kosher, and a post-dated one is pasul. Now, this is the opposite of shitarehov. Shtarhov, right? What's a shtarhov? It's a loan, right? If a person lends out money, right? So let's say I lent out money to, uh, you know, to someone and they don't pay back. I'm allowed to go and take from him some of his assets, right? Specifically his real estate assets. I could go back, go out and take it. Now, anyone that's buying something from this person right? Let's say I lent money to John, right? So now John, let's use a Jewish name, I lent, 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 lent some money to Reuven, right? So now I gave, I gave Reuven money. Now Reuven couldn't, couldn't pay back. I'm allowed to go ahead and take his property. Now let's say Reuven went and sold that property to someone else. I'm still allowed to go ahead and take that property from that third party. Because that third party should have known when he bought property from Reuven that there was a lien on it. That if he didn't pay back the loan, Reuven didn't pay me back the loan, I'm entitled to go take his property. That's a standard case. That's what in normal, if in any all, all standard loan scenarios. So now what happens? Let's say I go ahead and write a contract, you know, about a, of a loan, right? And I predate it. That could be a problem. Because if I predate it, imagine if I predated it to the to Jan to, to, to earlier on, I predated it to June 1st. What does that do? That could potentially really cause the that third party who was buying the house from Uvent to really lose out. Imagine if I predated something, you know, to 6-1, and on 6-10, on June 10th, Reuven sold his house to this other guy. I technically I should not be allowed. Right to go ahead if I lent the money on, on six fifteen. Right, I shouldn't be allowed to go ahead and take from a property that he sold before my loan, before on, on six thirteen. So what do I? So what happens if I write on the on the contract on six one, June first? That would that would technically allow me to go take that property from the person unlawfully. So therefore, if you have a predated shtarhov, uh, a loan document. That is pasul. Let's say I post-date it. Okay, at that point, I'm only causing myself to lose out. If I'm post-dating it at a later date, 
right? That just, do, that just doesn't allow me to collect from anyone that he would sell in the interim from today until that post dated date of 620, right? So I'm the only one losing out and therefore it's something like that would be kasher. Now, I would just point out that if you have a shtar hov hamukdam, a predated shtar hov, a predated uh, loan document, that is pasul and it's pasul forever. You don't even say, oh, at least use the date that it was written on. Not the date that they wrote in the contract, but the actual date that it was, you know, use it. No, you're not allowed to. Gizera, that you may go ahead and misuse it inappropriately. So that's the, it's an important concept that comes up many times um, in the Talmud. You know, it comes up even in the Mishnah a few times. It's an important concept to know. Now, the next case in the Mishnah is a had lovim hamisha. Let's say one person is borrowing from five, from five different people, right? Let's say I go ahead and I borrow from five different people. Right? He needs to write a piros bowl for every single person, right? Yani, each person that would have lent me money needs to write a piros bowl. But five person that's five people that are borrowing from one person, right? Let's say five of us all borrowed from, you know, from Reuven, right? So Reuven only needs to write one piros bowl. Right, because he write, he writes one for everyone. Because who's the hayu of the piros bol on? The piros bol is on the lender, right? It's not on the person who's borrowing. The hayu of the obligation is on the lender himself, and therefore all he needs to write is one, no matter how many people he lent money to. 